Hey everybody, hey Rugged Elf here. Oh, I had uh, a couple things that need to be taken care of, so I had to stay away for a little while, but I come back. I was away, decided like I needed something just like total relaxation. So I played this Astroneer earlier, about a year ago. It really sucked at it, so I just stopped playing. So I wanted to try it, I tried it again, and I got into it, and I played for a little bit, you know, just to get, try to get the hang of things and stuff, right? Um, so I watched a couple of videos on YouTube, you know, I saw a couple guys on there. Um, uh, I'll do more videos, I'll give these guys shout outs. They did really good videos. Um, but when they do their videos, you're seeing their video, these guys have everything in the game. Everything's unlocked, everything is built. They have like a little city, you know, and then they, but they show you how to make the stuff. So, I'm a beginner at this. I haven't gotten very far in this game at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a new adventure game, just give you guys an idea of what it looks like and how, you know, kind of what you wanna do. You know, just stumble upon things. Yeah. You know. But you'll see. So let's launch a new adventure. Actually, wait. Before we do that, if you see up the top where the little blue space helmet and can move this stuff around. So this is a co-op game. You can add friends to it. You can fix your outfits. So you know, you can unlock them. I don't have any unlocked. These are the ones that we were given. So, but you can also, you can ch you can change the, you know, your visors and change your color scheme. And, but you got to do missions to unlock them. I don't have to unlock missions. So, I'm playing. I'm having fun and I'm relaxing. That's all I'm worried about. This little Astropedia here you have will show you every, it'll tell you everything about the game. It's, it's a little vague, you know, it could be a little more straightforward, um, or more information, I should say, but it'll get you through what you need to do. You'll see the resources that you have to pick up and such like that, you know, so they tell you the whole planet's um, if you watched my stuff before, you know I played No Man's Sky, so, um, this is a big sandbox like that, oh, wide open, it's not quite as large, so, don't, don't you guys start commenting saying, there's nowhere near the size, no, it's not, there's nothing the size of No Man's Sky, you know, but this, I have to think too much of No Man's Sky. So that's why I come over to this. So, what you got your game options to set. You know, do not use your vehicle camera steering. You'll fall off a cliff every time, trust me. Hear that? Oh, so, then you got keyboard and mouse, and you got your controllers. I'm using a controller. So, I am. Let's get this started here so we can get it going. All right. So, start your game, brand new, pick out your suit, see what you want to look like. It'll blast you all down in here, and I'll take you down to the planet surface. Once it does that, you'll be able to get out of your pod. And it'll create your base. Now, a good idea would be to look at your surroundings as you were falling from the sky, okay? So, pretty safe. So, to give you all kind of missions and stuff. So, once you get out of your pod, right? So, we'll hit the Y. We'll get out of here. It creates your shelter. And then it creates your mission terminal, I would say. So, now that you have your mission terminal, it will give you missions, you know, different missions do, but you get rewards for that also. So, and one of the first rewards you get is going to be oxygen. 
But your shelter, this is only good for saving your game. So you hop in it, you get a save point, pop back out, done. You're done. So, a lot of exploring, you know, and you have to work your way off the planet because this is all you have right now. So, you come up here, so we hit planet fall. Well, over this way, a planet fall. So, I arrived on the planet. Oh, I'm on Sylvia. Okay. And there we go. So, the price for this is going to be your oxygenator, which you need for your shelter, and a small printer so you can make more stuffs. So, here, just go do this in a moment as soon as you finish the first one. So it says, unpack the oxygenator, install the oxygenator on the shelter, and then connect the printer power, connect printer power to the shelter. So you had to build the tether. So they'll give you tethers, and they'll give you bites. So I'll tell you what that stuff is, okay? So this last one is always here, but it's, I think it's part of a mission or something, I'm not sure. But you look for the lights, and it tells you to so but if you're you got your mission you got your mission highlighted if you hit this when it's active it'll put it up into um being watched or something like that but if you got the reward so she has to open up your little and you get your reward okay so there's, then it goes to the bottom here complete so you know what you're doing. So now we got to do our oxygenator and our printer. Okay, so here's our printer. So, um, never knew why the printer was just never, uh, just in a box. But the oxygenator goes in here, and then you can hold the Y to unpack it. Boom, it's in place. Okay? So if I check this, you'll see that part's done. So all I gotta do is the printer though. Well, it's simple. But, so in order for you to do anything, a lot of these quests in this thing, you need supplies. Okay? They have compounds, there's resins. Those are the two main components in your, um, there are two main components you're going to start this game out with. I like putting stuff out by my by my house, but for this is for a quick reward. Where's my door? Damn, where did my door go? Right, so that's not really going to work. So you can put stuff on the side there. If it has one post on the bottom, you can put it there. I don't know if it'll work. I can try it. Let's see. There we go. It just uh, connected it. So, but then you, you can go into. See, you can't use the printer when it's sitting up here. So, you're going to have to put it down here. Uh, let's put it here. I'll turn him over here a little bit. Set him down. And then you see your little wire connectors. So, to get. You can look at things and they'll highlight. You can walk around in circles forever. It'll take forever to highlight, okay? If you hold down, I have going like off of Xbox, so my bottom left controller, if you hit that, and then hit the bottom right one, pull it out, connect it, hit the bottom right again, and it's connected. See, so now you can check it out. There's any different stuff that you can need it you can make a medium printer and as you there's catalog so if you go into your whoop, not there go in your backpack you come over here this is all the stuff you want bites so if it's blue you already know it if it's pink you ain't got the money for it if you do got the money for it it's gray but there's certain things you want to look for first that i have found Okay, I discovered that this packager is a very good item to have. I, as we go along, I'll show you because I'm not going to have it. 
I'm not going to have it for a little while anyway, so. But you can pull your log out here, you can see this, but you can't do anything with it. You can't complete any, you can't get your rewards. I can't get my reward for that. Now, see, it, that doesn't work. So, which brings us to our next reward. So, I'll put in my backpack. We'll come here. And let's check you out. Come up here, so now I can accept this. So give me my cat tethers, and I'll get 500 bytes. So now I need to connect a tanner, and I get a small canister. Small canisters are good too, and I'll show you that. You'll see that throughout the video time. Maybe not this one, maybe another one. I hope to do a few videos for this. This is such a fun, relaxing game. So, but here's your main quest, okay? This is all you get. You do those first little quests on there. Well, wait a minute. Let me see. Where do we want to go? You have, if you look at my backpack, this little bar on the top here, that is your oxygen. This is your power, okay? So you already saw the store. You saw the mission log. Here at the gun, if you hit your X button, you get the bun. So you can put components on this, and it'll help enhance it to get you more stuff. This will hold, this all, all this stuff holds your, um, your components, your, my tethers. Oh, look, I got my tether. So here, I got my prize, so I put my tether. I like my tethers up here on top. So all my raw materials and stuff can go back here. Usually I'll have some, you know, once I get in the game, I'll have a couple tethers with me at a time, you know. But then down here at the bottom is stuff you can build with your backpack. So you can build backpacks. It takes a compound, okay? You do an oxygen filter, that takes resin. You, right now, at the start of this game, since it's all exploring, you have to be connected to oxygen, which means you need to be connected to your whole base. You're going to need tethers. These tethers and compound are your most important part of the start of this game. It's hard to die. You can. There are plants here that want to kill you. They will if they can. And But for the most part, here, I'll show you. Actually, let me do this first, though, because I'll put my tethers down here. I don't have nothing on my backpack. I'll come out here. Okay, so you see the blue light went away? I'm away from the tether. Right? Uh, let's move away from that. So, you see the blue line? That's, that's my oxygen and power. Okay? So, now I move away. You start seeing that oxygen going down. Right? Most of the time you are going to die is going to be shooting yourself in the foot, okay? This is resin, okay? That's a research sample. If you hit Y, you hold the Y down, you notice it gives you 22 bytes. So research samples give you bytes. You have Rex here, right? I'm, I'm going to die for you. And this thing has a very good item on it. And I'll show you in a minute. But I'll get my last reward too after we do it. So let's die. But I don't want to have to run too far to get my stuff back. <laughs> You'll die in this game. You may die a few times in this game. But you are, you are suffocating. Okay, it's getting dark. It's getting hard to breathe. I'm like, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Oh, no. I'm going to die. So this is how you're going to die most of the time. Okay, when you do it. You say, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, you will. You're going to be like, damn, he was right. But you're going to die like this. Get it out of the way. That way you don't have to worry about it. Okay? So you, you come back in your shelter. Okay? So once you come back, you hit the Y, you leave, you're out of your shelter, you're back, you got all your stuff, and look, there's your backpack. And look, oh, wait a minute, I can stay, see how it's highlighted? 
I can stay where my blue line, and you can actually change your view too. But that oxygen line for me is still connected to me. So I can hold my lower left, find it, hit my lower right, it'll show me that. And there's nothing in the backpack. So normally I could pull my backpack out, pull my gun out. I wouldn't you usually don't do the gun, but my act disappeared quick. Maybe because it didn't have anything. But you would transfer your stuff over. It stays longer for you if you're further away and you die. Okay. So where was that wreck? That wreck was out this way, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. So here's my next reward. Oh shit! I lost my tethers. Duh. No, I did not. Damn, dummy. Sorry. First time back in the limelight, okay? Give me a break. Okay, so we... But there was some out here, too. So, your little cross key at the bottom left of your controller. What I use, I'm not sure what the controllers are. If you hit that... I finished my task because I just dropped. If you see my tethers on top, one's missing. I don't know where the red head came from. They wasn't like that before. So now I'm getting new missions. Okay? So actually, this is a good idea too. Because you can do a lot of missions here. And get a lot of good stuff quick. Okay? So, come over here. Check this out. So you got your breathing space. So I get a small canister and... 500 more bites, right? So, I'm going to collect that reward. Now, you see where it says resourcing, right? It's got the little circle next to it, right? That's because I collected my reward and the thing moved down here. So now it's telling me I want me to gather four compound and four resin. And I get medium storage. You're going to need storage. Trust me. Medium platform times two. You'll need that extra platform too. And then you'll get the uh, schematic for the oxygenator. Okay? But the excavation part is new tests you can do that you didn't see yet. Right? So, if I go down to that one, see how it turns to a circle? And then it gets you to get your next mission. Right, so fill a small canister with soil, and you'll give me 500 bites. Okay, so there's my small canister. So, what I'm going to do actually, because here's a there's all right, let me show you. You can select this item, you can move it, you can put it anywhere. Don't try to walk to have any control when you're walking anywhere with it. Okay, now I can, if I hit my X button, it'll bring it, put it on my backpack. I can open my backpack and put it on there, but right now I'll hit X, open my gun, and you want to put this little container. I like it at the top. It could, that shows you how much you can do, right? So one of my questions is just to get that filled up. How hard do you think that's going to be? So, well, let's go out here. I want to come out to this wreck. So, you got to take your time, okay? Got to remember where this thing is. Make sure, look, and if you miss, right, you can see I highlight. You can bottom right, click it till it connects, drop it. Everybody says LT and LB, and I don't know what the difference is between them. So, where the hell did I run before? Okay, so, okay, so now here, look, I'm out here, but I want to go, I'm going to go over here. And instead of just wasting coming out here and going here, since I have one tether right now, right i'm going to take my tethers i will bottom right toggle it and exit put it back so because i want to go over this way because there's resin 
Okay, there's a drag. That's fine. That's cool. Okay, so let's whoop, back. Drop you. Okay, we're good. See, you can just pick it up and move it back a little bit. That's the only thing about with the tether. I mean, you'll get vehicles once you get down the road. Now this, okay, you have different debris, okay? Now, you can't do nothing. You can't, you can't pick that up, right? These things are on top. This is debris. You can get a machine later to do your debris and take care of. You'll get scrapped and you can do it at a trading station. I learned that. I don't know exactly sure. But this is a small battery. This is a very good tool. It stores 32 U of power. Okay, you need the first thing you want to try to do is find these wrecks. You need to find the gray stuff in the background. That is the compound. That is your tethers. This is your resin. Your resin will get you your storage and other components like that, right? This, you want the battery. Now, see my backpack being connected. See how it's the little yellow and blue now? It means it's charging. So, it's going to charge that battery pack for me. It, they're good for vehicles. They're good for the... Uh, your pro your buildings and stuff. Here's some more research. So hold that. 17. You can have anywhere from one to five on here. Now I'm gonna do this resin, but I wanna go up here and get this compound first. Okay. Alright. And a lot of the times now here, see this research item? Okay. These are important. You will get a, you'll have a chance to be able to get a research chamber to open up very early in the game. These items, you you can move them, but if you hit your X button, you carry them, and you're slower. Okay. So. That is what I was telling you about the um, the little boxes, right? Those little boxes are will shrink them up to put on your backpack, and you can get like a bunch of them. Those research samples get you close to a thousand, two thousand a sample. So when I do this, now see what you drill. You, Hit your X button, pull out your drill. You have, you can drill down. You can flatten. Well, it's not flat, okay? It's not going to make it flat. Whatever terrain, see how, do you see how the angle is changing on this? Whatever angle you choose. Can be very sharp, can be very light. But that is what it's going to, that's the direction it's going to do. That's good to make paths when you go find the caves. The caves will get you a lot of your uh, metallic components, which you need a smelter to fix them for. Watch my videos, you'll see everything. I just want to give you a little quick little overview. And if you got a chasm in front of you, you can boom, hit this, and you can add. So you'll add to it, right? But you cannot add unless you have, there's so, say it says soil in there. You have to have soil in this storage container to be able to go up or flat to drill and then this is now see I'm gonna let it yell hear a little ding you get that little ding that's one component built that's two so see so see I have one here and I have one here One's ready to make tethers, which gives me an extra spot. That's why I did that. So, but the one thing is I need to do is make four of them. So, I just filled up my, my soil thing. So now, what I'm going to do is come back here. Put that away. Put that away. And we'll come back here and look at them. I got I need one more. Eight 
eventually you're going to find yourself, you're going to just stack up on this stuff. Now look, I'm going to, eventually I'll need more component. I'll need more resin, right? But, I don't know. Here, let's do this first. Let's move him up a little bit. Because I'm going right through the mine. And that could make a mess. It could make life difficult for you. So, I told you, there wasn't too many ways you could die, right? Falling is one of them. If you dig a deep enough hole, you fall into it, you're going to die. When you get into the caves, you need that little flattening thing to complete a ramp to get you to the next level lower. Right? And... You will die. <laughs> so I've, I've gotten a little better at it. But... So here, I don't want to go over that way too much, but I'm going to have to take a lot. Let's go start from this side. Okay, let's... Start. One, two, three, four. There we go. So you get four of them. So I got my four. See, my battery's already charged. I'll put that on my arm. When you start in a game, it's hard to do anything. So, until you get some power to build up. Right? You got enough power so you can do the. Um, you get powers. You got enough power here. It's about one U. And that's what the house gives you is one. So you can use that. Basically, what I am going to do with this base. I am going to figure out where I want to put this. I'm going to figure out where, how and what I want stuff. Right? But. What a lot of times what I want to do is to expand. So I like to expand from the front. So if you notice, this is a lot of... Even my ground, the ground that they made me, is not flat. You know. But usually what I'll eventually do is I'll get my... If you start on the level that you want, you hold the trigger down, and then once you move with it, it'll take out or add. The white stuff is the add. If it's the same color, they're taking it out. Which is a good thing, because the blue circle is how much you have. Right? That's how much soil you have in your container. So, when you're up and in down and like that, you don't use as much. So, but, and I have discovered every time that I've tried to start this, there's a cave by me. You want a cave, okay? Sometimes you'll shift. And you see the shift. You gotta go back to that one and put them back in place. You see, you just add to it. And I'm coming over here because I see a cave in my future. All right. So, caves, you want that? Let's go. So, if I look at this, I got 1,000, 1,082, but I still got some rewards to get. And I forget my get my rewards. So, I ran so I'll get 500 for that one. Well, I got my medium storage of my platforms for that. That's why I was flattening this stuff out. Okay. So, print a medium printer. Uh oh. I'm gonna die. You hear your heartbeat. I wasn't connected to anything. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, so, see, look, I told you, it's gonna be your own stupidity.
Oh, can I see what I set up here? Normally, where? Where that? But you came from you. Yeah, I'm gonna move this. Actually, I wanna put it here. I'm not, I can't put it too far right now, okay? The thing is, here, I'll show you. Uh, put it here. You're limited on how much power you have, right? So, that's still connecting that stuff. And this would be a nice little spot because these are little boxes. Maybe. Just flatten that out a little. Okay. So, here's where you'll do your medium printer. So. I got my small canister. If I got a copper, and do a work light. Copper's found in the mountains. Got a compound, I can do a medium printer. But I have my, they give me the medium printer. That's why they gave me two bases on that one reward. So you can put your, hook your printer up. So I can make an oxygenator. That's a ceramic and aluminum. That gets easier down the road. So, and here's the platform that you have to work with. Here, actually, let me do this. Make this a little easier for you. No. I'll hit the right button yet. No. Come on, dumb shit. This one. No. Ah, uh, you're going to be like that, aren't you? Okay, here it is. Here's a medium platform. So, your medium storage, that's what we're looking for. That's what we have in our container over there. You want a rover seat, because you'll get a couple of vehicles you'll be able to rover with. And a small canister, work plate, medium printer, and your oxygenator. So, let me go see what they're going to do. So, I got my rewards. All right, so retooling. So I have to unlock print, attach a boost mod for my terrain tool, and unlock print and attach a drill mod for your terrain tool. Boost mod helps, it takes a lot of power, especially if you're not connected to the line. Um, drill is, if you're in the mountains, it helps a little bit, but unless you're on one of those other planets that I've never been to before, um, I might do it anyway because the soil centrifuge will get you, help you immensely with your stuffs. And here I am again, not breathing. How about if I put one down? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Alright, so. But there was another one. Wait a minute. Retooling. And then the medium printer on a retooling. So that's good. That'll come. I might work on those on another video. I just wanted to get in here and give you guys an idea of what was going on. I will set up this printer and this. Um, I will set this printer and this um, storage container for you. Sorry about that. Normally, okay, I might be able to anyway with this one. So here's my platform. So if I hit my X button, it'll put it on my thing. But backpack's full. Um, so, yeah, let's do that first. So when you're full, see if I hit my X. It, oh, shit. Sorry. Let it put it on there. That's cool. So I got my printers over here. I'm going to need resources. It's going to be my big ass area here. So that's going to eventually get fixed up. I do want a splitter too. You'll find out what a splitter is. But for right now, I'll put my. I think right now I'll put my steward stuff right here. That's that. Uh, yep. That's that. So, I'm going to put that there. Right now, I don't care. 
So that brings that out. So this is my this is what the storage thing is going to be to do that to give it power. Okay, and then we'll undo that. Okay, so with this medium platform, you can lock it in place. I'm just going to tell you, there have been winds around here. And that one game I played that blew this stuff. I had a vehicle when it blew it down the road. But there's some big winds, so these the windmills that they have help. But it doesn't come off, and you notice I'm not in the wind now. But with these storage containers, okay, so you can move them. So if you have a vehicle that has like a trailer on it, you can take this and move it to that one with the trailer. You can set it here and use that as storage. This one takes you one resin. This one takes you two resin. So the thing with the, it won't open. It stays just like it is right now if you have it on the ground like this. If you put it on a powered vehicle or if you put it on a powered base, right? Which means, so that's locked, so you got to get the cable. What you want to do is you want to go come to power source to the device. It does, the electricity can be directional. So I can show you that later with, um, you can get little, here, I'll show you. You can only go, here, unlock it. So if I pick this up, right, you can only go so far with it, right? I can put it out there and it's just power. But they have these little connectors that you can get that will, um, I'd rather put him out there anyway. So, you can lower that stuff down, and then you got your backpack, and then you can transfer your stuff from that. Can be a pain. Since I haven't really built anything yet, I like to keep a, com a com compound with me because it makes does them tethers. So if I go somewhere and I'm so close to something, I like to have a you know be able to build another set of tethers real quick just to check out what I was looking at. And trust me, you'll get from here to there to it. But the door's on the other side, like this one, and you don't have oxygen. And you have to fiddle with it. I suggest quick saves. Okay. So, this is the idea. This, and you can leave these things. You know, actually I'm just going to put him over there for right now. I'll need, I'll need this one soon enough. And I'll probably need it for storage, not for a medium printer. So, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do first. So, we'll, we'll see. But, alright, guys, but this is what you do. See how little I start with. See what I got now. A little more. Could be worse, right? So, I hope y'all have a great day. And I will see you on the rebound. Have a good one, guys. Now I'm going to hit 100 buttons to try to figure out what to do. See, I'm still learning. See you later, guys. Bye.